Dawson Reynolds. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger video. So just the other week we got our first look at two Kaiser, our upcoming Six Ranger, upcoming Gold Ranger via the toys. And then surprisingly, not long after that, we got our first look at him in the flesh in the preview clip. This is just seemingly really fast forwarded because usually we get some sort of early look and then we get, you know, the scans or some pictures from the magazines and whatnot. But this time he's automatically appearing already. We have a look at him in the show, which again, I've said before, I really like the suit. I love the Gokaiter suits in general, that's obviously what his main form is inspired by, with his power-ups being Shinkanger and O-Ranger related, but it's a really cool suit. I'm so sick of gold and silver, but every year, even though I'm tired of those colors, they end up looking really cool. So I think the suit looks good, it looks really good in action so far. We have a look at the actor, uh, the character is going to be named Zox. He's going to knock your Zox off, oh, thank you. I can't tell from the preview, it looks like he might be kind of a cool character, he's doing some silly like dancing or something, might be a part of the henshin, I don't know. Um, but I'm hoping he's kind of a little bit more of a badass character just to balance uh, Kaito out a little bit. But, you know, the actor looks good. You know, I think it could be a potentially good character. I think they did a good job last year with Karame Silver. I've had problems in, in the semi-recent years with Six Rangers after the review feeling kind of gimmicky. Like, you know, Kanalo, I hit on people type of thing. And it just feels like they're not as cool as they used to be. They just kind of become gimmicks. Uh, but they did a good job with Karame Silver, in my opinion. So I'm hoping that this guy ends up being a pretty cool character. But, you know, everything looks good in person. It's just kind of surprisingly early, um, again, especially since I guess we saw the toy and we knew the toy was coming out soon, but it just seems so fast. And usually we find out more information and I guess maybe they've cracked down on, you know, scans and stuff. You know, you're not still not supposed to know about Trinity form, just in case you guys didn't know. So maybe that's why. But it also seems so fast since in this most recent episode we debuted Stacy. And so we're debuting this Dark Ranger and then in the very next episode we're getting two Kaiser. Um, but setting aside any toy catalog and debut and knowledge and stuff, I, I think that this is exciting. I think it gives us stuff to look forward to in the show, but I kind of hate how soon we're debuting it, you know, because I like to wait a little bit. I hate how soon Six Rangers have been appearing, period. Um, but this seems a little bit extra soon, especially since we have uh, Stacy already debuting. And Zenkaiser has actually been pretty good about letting things breathe. I mean, we had individual debuts for everybody so far, but who knows? This could mean we have all kinds of different stuff to look forward to. This is an anniversary year after all, so we could get many more Rangers or stuff for all we know. I don't know. I think that's kind of exciting to think about since we're only seven, eight episodes in and we already have two additional special Rangers, what that could mean for the future. So that's definitely something to think about. But even though I think it's a little bit too fast, I'm looking forward to seeing more from him and seeing if he's a cool character and all that and seeing what's down the road. But what do you guys think of our first looks at two Kaisers so far? What do you hope for as far as what could happen in the future of Zen Kaiger in terms of other Ranger debuts? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell. See you guys in my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.